Corey of Comprehensive Environmental Incorporated will be presenting informally to field questions and share current plans. This is not an actual hearing tonight. We do not have, it has been filed with the Mass DEP. We don't have a file number. We will get that shortly. And it's hopes that we will uh, schedule another meeting before our next regular meeting in March to try to tackle this a little bit earlier and get the project going and get the problem resolved. Nick? Yeah, we're getting, getting set up right now. Okay. Let us know when you're ready. All right. And I'll have you uh, go over the new project and the details. Is everyone here in the tennis find the attendance sheet? Thank you. Shia, do you have the uh, the Zoom link or whatever it is? Uh, I have it. It's on the top of the agenda. Okay. okay, hopefully you have a Restrictions. 
partially because of the county restrictions, partially because the town, when it went out to bid, solicited replacement of not just the permitted northern headwall, but also replacement of the southern headwall. Now, the northern headwall had more or less failed or in the process of advanced deterioration. Southern headwall was not in as bad a condition, but still not perfect. And the northern headwall failed, so the southern headwall may not be too far behind it. The bid to replace just the northern headwall was about $40,000. The bid to replace both of them was about $50,000. So as a cost saving measure, knowing rather than trying to revisit this process again in say 10 years when the southern headwall is deteriorated, the town opted to look at permitting both the northern and the southern headwall to the other cost saving. Basically, rather than spending what would be eighty thousand dollars to replace each of them separately, not including separate permitting and stuff like that, the town said, "Well, maybe we can do both fifty thousand. So that's kind of what has transpired uh, since since that time, since the original northern headwall was permitted. Uh, there was some discussion, and I know that the board has undergone some changes since that since that time for the permitting of the northern one. So just make sure everyone is aware of kind of where things are at now. Um, Really, the driving force behind replacing, particularly the northern headwall, is that this, this port has already partially collapsed. So the town has taken it upon themselves to start or continue uh, revamping their failed infrastructure, revamping things, these items that need to be replaced. So obviously, it's good, a good practice. Uh, should that northern headwall, I mean, the northern headwall has partially collapsed, it's kind of leaning a little bit. And because that northern headwall is on the the upgrading side of the stream. If that northern headwall fails, like you get a big storm event, you now have an unarmored face basically facing that stream, flowing right into it. And if you if you have an unarmored place like that, that has really good flow during some of these high flow events, it can very quickly undermine the road and cause a failure, a safety a safety hazard. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. There's already a small sinkhole on the southern side. Like I said, the northern headwall has partially collapsed, and this does happen. Uh, it happened on there's a culvert on Moody Bridge Road. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but we went out and looked at it at one point a couple of years back, and said, you know, this thing's in pretty rough shape. We're really going to need to be replaced sooner rather than later. And about six months later, it failed, and there was a sinkhole on Moody Bridge Road. Moody Bridge Road, I believe, is still closed. If it's not, uh, it's, it, it was recently reopened. I don't remember exactly that stance, but you know, just this it does happen, um, and it can happen unpredictably. So, um, with that being said, let me I'm gonna try and I'm gonna share my screen and pull up the Nike Road plans. I believe everyone can see this. So I think people can see this. So, the cover page. So, I'm going to talk about just kind of a couple of sheets, really, but uh, the thing addition. So, this is the proposed condition plan sheet as it is right now. And I believe people can see my cursor kind of slowly moving around. So, originally, we were just doing replacement of this northern head wall. Now we're doing both of them. And what we're looking at doing is and I'll get into a little bit more about the construction and the replacement details of the head of the head wall itself in a little bit, but just so everyone kind of knows what the project is. It's replacement of this head wall. So the culvert is not being touched. The culvert looks okay. So we're not going to touch the culvert, which means you're not going to need a copper dam. We're not going to need to bypass the whole stream. We're not going to need to, you know, blow everything up. I mean, it's really, it's really just replacing these, these facings here. Um, so the other things we're doing is, um, there are, we have this kind of shading here. Uh, there are some existing paved kind of riprap, kind of paved channels, drainage channels, which are running down in front of each of these headwalls right now. They are in poor to, they're in poor condition. Um, they are just, there's no real protection. You can see them, they're, they're going out. There's, they're, they're just washing sediment and washing material from the roadway into the stream. There's no treatment. so. We would like to stabilize those channels as part of this construction. I see a question. On the southern side, there is a drainage pipe yep. that comes from upstream, up 
the road comes down into it. So you, uh, are you, you're not going to be affecting that, are you? That's no. Okay. no, he's not going to. Are you going to? Are you going to be affecting that? Putting riprap into that? Putting putting riprap only, but we're not touching the pipe. That's what you're just talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, there's just channels on each side as well, not just the pipe. Okay. There's channels where the water comes off the road. But there is another drainage pipe that comes up from way down Knightley Road all Correct. the way to the end. Correct. And it, and it empties out somewhere at the base. I don't I don't know where it empties out. I, On the right side of the southern head wall. Yeah, yeah. Right, right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Yep. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. So you you won't be affecting that. No. Okay. No, we can't affect that because then the, the pipe will it won't work anymore. Stream, so mm. uh, no, we would not be affecting. Not affecting that. We're not looking at improving the pipe at all. Right. Uh, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be impacting the pipe. We make sure that everything is you know away from the pipe, uh, kind of stabilizing. If there's a, I don't remember if there's a scour pool or anything at the base. I don't. I don't, I don't think, think. I don't think that pipe was too bad because it was. It was really low on the wall. It's more of those areas that are up up on the the sides, the edges of those head walls themselves. It's on the downstream right. side of the head wall. Right. Okay. It's on the downstream side of the headwall for the flow coming in to the north side of the headwall. That pipe was put in after in the mid 80s. There was a hellish rainstorm, and a lot of farmers got money to put in drainage. Mm. And that went, a whole bunch of farmers got together and put in the drainage. Great. Yeah, Great. we think so. <laughs> uh, no, we won't be impacting that pipe. It will still work, absolutely. Okay, sorry. That's, that's fine. If anyone else has questions, you know, feel free. Feel free to let me know. Uh, a couple of little things. There's kind of a void on top of the on top of the southern head wall right now. Uh, we're calling to fill it in. I, I think by the time the southern head wall is replaced, it's not going to be an issue because we're going to have to actually cut back towards the road in order to replace the head wall. So that will all be stabilized as, as well. Um, we will be having some erosion and sediment controls. The way I the way we've shown it now and the way we think it is based on the, the uh, right of way lines, the construction associated with the head walls themselves will be within the town right of way. I have conservatively shown these the uh, linear erosion sediment controls to be to provide extra space. It, it means that those those controls may need to be installed on private property. This is something like 25 feet of space, which is it's a lot of room to be able to have to get down there you know i think i think you could probably tighten it up if need be again i've sh shown it conservatively because i'd rather say that they're going to be you know more impacts and have them be less rather than the other way around i'd rather you know, I, I don't want i don't want i don't want to say there's going to be 250 square feet of impacts and then find out that it's not because uh, then that's boring and have issues and stuff like that um so before I get into any questions on what's proposed kind of top down right now, otherwise I'll talk a little bit about the construction of the proposed the proposed head walls. Don't even know the questions to ask. Okay. <laughs> so please continue. Okay. Um, so actually, let me let me show you what these things look like. This is what they're putting in essentially. They're like these big Lego blocks and. They basically get stacked. They get stacked, and these because they have these bumps kind of on the top, they all interlock. Um, this is a pre. This shows this particular example shows some geo grid on it, but we won't need it because this this thing is not near, not that big. Really, they're just going to be doing this type of setup here. It's just going to be a ready rock stacking a block. Um, I don't remember how high, but we can go look at that in a minute. You know, it's like eight blocks high or something like that. I mean. These, these things can get enormous. I mean, here's here's a here's a much 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 bigger culvert. Let's we'll see in ten seconds. So this just goes to show how big these things can get. You know, your head is going to come up to like about here somewhere, and that's it. But um, you know, it's a little bit unusual project because in order to save money, see, guys, we didn't we didn't do the design like we, you know, for us to come out and do a head wall design and those kinds of things is gonna be, you know, two or three times as expensive as it is for us to kind of mostly just basically permit the project, which is what we did. So um we've worked with the 
local contractor and they came up with this design and you know it seems that they use it all the time and it seems pretty it seems pretty pretty good so so that's what these things are going to look like um Can you put a footing underneath it great question and that's where i'm going right now so and this I, this I, is basically I, yes uh, is the road going to stay approximately 30 feet the road width of pavement width uh, should not change much at all. I mean, these things, they angle in a little bit, but they don't, you know, it's not, you're not going to lose too much. And there's a little bit of space on each, on each side of that road. Not a lot. It's, yeah. it's tight. It's a tight road. It's but tight. Yeah. How, how high above the road grade will these come as a finished project? Um, well, this is their, this is their design. Um, I would say I, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I think it's going to be probably similar to what it is now, um, but I'm not exactly sure what, what their dimension I, I could pull the dimensions off, off their sketch here because uh, each of these numbers represent the dimension, but um, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. So, are they going to design any kind of line through the blue to the square under the road? I mean, the tie back, like, far as line? I don't believe so. I don't need to. I mean, I don't think they need to. This is only what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks high, and it's only I mean, it's only about. So we use those over here on the side wall of the senior center, mm -hmm. and I think they're six high, and it's not even. Does that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure they didn't provide us. Like I said, if, if any questions like this, I mean, I'm happy to, to reach out to, to the, the contractor. Because like I said, it's really their design. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm doing permitting stuff on it, but. Um, and I think the wall you got out there is straight wall. That's why they tied it in the bank. It's, it's, slide, it's, it's not perpendicular, it's slightly slanted. Not a lot. Um, so the footing, great question. So the existing head wall has a footing right now, and what the contract was planning on doing is cutting out the damaged head walls or deteriorated head walls in the case of the southern head wall. Um, basically taking that existing footing and encasing it partially in concrete for a couple of different reasons. One is they need a flat, stable base to be able to stack these blocks on. Um, for a second part, it actually has to be, it has to be wider because the blocks are you know, they're pretty good size. Um, but any, anything that they cut, leave everything, they can cut back Towards the roadway, so they won't be. They shouldn't be pushing anything out into the bank. I believe they're. They should be stacking everything back towards the roadway. That's why. That's why I've written the notes in the bank. Anyways, that they'll anything will be cut back. I mean, these blocks should be you know under the roadway to an extent, and you got to have this character on top. Um, so the other kind of good thing about doing this design, as opposed to the original one that was, that was permanent, is go ahead all which was precast design. Is a precast design you're really going to have to be excavated down pretty much pretty much digging out everything that was there so you're going to be having more more damage to land underwater and bank and stuff like that so because most of the existing footing is in place um it shouldn't reduce the reduce the impacts of those particular things see from what i remember the original design was using rebar and form in place into the existing wall, not a precast at all. Uh, you're correct. I'm sorry. I apologize. You're correct. Yep. Yep. And or in place. When you, if you look at this wall now, the wall is only about, the head wall itself is only about a foot wide. Correct. And these are about four feet. They're about four by four. Correct. So when you start stacking them, I mean, if you were going there, you were basically doing four feet this way. Plus, you need an additional foot behind it, and then you're going four feet this way. So you're right now at uh, nine to ten feet. So you're digging up almost the entire road to do the installation of this. Well, I mean, I mean like, where are they going to go? Well, I get you four feet, but the, the, the things are about four feet, but then they're pretty much just stacked, right? So you have, you have a foot, and then they're pretty much just stacked on top. You're just in foot, so you go three feet beyond that. Right. Okay, but you you're in the road right now. The head wall is only a foot wide. Now you're saying you're putting something that's four feet wide. So unless you go oh, into gotcha. there, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have to cut back some of that color. Some of that color to be removed. Some of it's damaged anyways. What, what about with you? You just said that culvert was in good shape. Well, 
I mean, there's this so, piece of the northern one that was cracked and damaged that would be fixed anyway, and was tall enough to be repaired under the, the original design. Right. Okay. So they'll be cutting back some of that culvert to make room for those blocks. And, then, and basically, everything's probably going to depend on where the roadway is. We're probably going to have to kind of figure out where the roadway is going to be. We can't think of sort of narrow on the roadway. Huh? So, how, how big are the footings of the existing headwall? Because if it is not four feet in depth, then you're going to have to do excavation, which is into the roadway. And you're going to have to, based on the installation for these blocks, you either have to do um, compacted gravel or you need to pour a concrete footing. So, where is that or how is that? I mean, where's the area of view of that? Work. Yep, correct. I'm I'm not really sure how wide the, the current foot is. I don't I don't know. We, we weren't we weren't contracted to do you know borings here and, and dig in. We weren't you know disturb the bank and figure out what was going on. I mean, um, you know, my design piece. I mean, this there's a reason why this this detail you're looking at now isn't isn't our design. I mean, this is this is contractor design. And, you know, we were really brought on board to just confirm it. You know, plan view for the most part. Who's it out there? Uh, Gilever. 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 We've, we've done some, we've done some work with them before. I see another question. question. No, I was just trying to figure out this design and who the engineer was. And that's, I was just trying to figure out that, that portion of it. They're a pretty good company. They've done some work for us before with, with larger companies. Yeah. So this is the resource area disturbances. Um, I think it will, I think it will zoom out. Yeah. Uh, so pink is land underwater, water, green is riverfront, and then uh, kind of hard to see, but then there's, there's a small amount of in the bank as well. So, um, you know, just for frame of reference, I mean, the entire square footage of this project we're proposing to be disturbed is about 1,600 square feet. For reference, if you guys permit a 40 by 80 foot pool, just the pool has double that, double that for service. So, you know, it's really, it's, it's really pretty minimal disturbance. I mean, I get it, you know, it's, this is the river, this is the stream, it's right there. So, you know, I get it, it is, it, it is sensitive area, but, um, you know, just keep in mind, I mean, this is, this is kind of a public safety issue now. I mean, I know it's been three years, but, this thing can fail and you know it could fail and you know, the town. Why did it take so long? We got an emergency certification to fix that to almost three years ago. And here it is in 2022. We're just fixing it right now. So what happened three years ago? Why wasn't it fixed then? I can't answer. I cannot answer that. I, I wasn't involved in the project uh, three years ago. I, I was brought in. On this particular project back in about a year ago, or so we did the we did the simple the, the design quote and permitting of the northern headwall, and then the project went away, and I didn't hear anything about it until about November. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not that I'm definitely not familiar with the emergency certification that was that was three years ago. Um, yeah, so no, I'm mm -hmm. can't answer that. But um, yeah, I think at this point, yeah, just questions. I mean, I'm also done talking. Uh, sorry, ladies, please first. Sorry. <laughs> Um, are you aware that the east and on south of the road and east of the road is um, natural area the endangered species habitat and species? Yes, yep, and uh, we altered the case of those in town there most recent middle to to reflect the use of the area priority as estimated habitat and priority habitat. So I'm looking at the northern head wall and the scope of the work. The northern head wall, the ready rock, and the, the, the rectangular piece shows it being right at the edge of the pavement. The southern portion shows it at a different angle and actually shows it encroaching into the edge of the pavement. Is it going to actually be narrowing the roadway down? No, that's, I mean, that's the way I just show the limit of the limit of excavation. So the excavation will get filled in. Okay, you know, so I really, I've tried to show, uh, I guess, this kind of hatched area. What's, what's the actual wall? 
What is it? Now? What, what's the actual wall? I mean, where, where's the actual wall? You've got two rectangles there. What's that? That's the wall. Right the actual there. wall. This is this that's is that's the actual wall. This is yeah. This type of stuff. This is shown as a four foot wide. Okay. Wide wall. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, based on I'm not sure on the, the slope of these things. I mean, I don't believe it's much. So you know, the actual as built may be a little bit bigger than that, but I mean, it's not going. You know, it's not going to be. Six feet wide, eight feet wide, something, something gigantic. Was there a percent on the block or something? I'm, I'm sorry. Was there a percent on the block on the paper? A percent what? A percent? A percent. Oh, so uh, I didn't see one on uh, on those those sample those sample things. Um, you know, I don't think it's I don't think it's much. I mean, I think there's different designs you can do. You can really step it and, and those kinds of things. Are they going to be mortared in? Are the blocks going to be mortared in or just stacked? I believe they just stack it because they have those kind of globes, I guess, if you want to call it on top. They won't get infiltrated with water? Uh, I believe what you do is you pour, you pour some gravel behind it. That you have some kind of well drained material that goes behind it. Uh, all, all the literature that I've seen, that's, that's what basically done. Okay, now what is going to be done about the drainage on from the roadway, from the road surface into that dingo? Because um, right now, right now it goes to the head of the head wall and just kind of goes off into the side and down below. Correct. Is it going to do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll line it with rock or something. Correct. Yeah. We'll lose some rocks. So we'll just sign up. Sign up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we'll we'll stabilize it and get it. You know. So at least it's not eroding away. You know, hoping to to alleviate some of these kind of safety issues right now because it's. It's getting a little rough out there. Actually, I think the uh, the drainage jams on the southern side are actually worse than, than the northern side. Oh, I believe that. They're both I, pretty bad. I don't think that that pipe that was put in has stopped working at all in the last 20, 30 years. I think it's been constantly going. Yes. There, there were times when they could put in one section of pipe a day. That was it because there was so much water pent, pent up in uh, in ahead of this that it, it costs close to a million dollars to put that it. put that drainage pipe in. I believe it. Yeah. 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 yeah it, I'm it, familiar. I've walked around a couple of the other roadways in town and I've, I've seen you know high, high ground water and you go stop out in the field and it's just oh yeah tell me about it. <laughs> yep. So uh, questions questions keep them keep them coming. Uh, did you you did you go and take a look at the south side of the wall? What percentage do you figure that's at? The southern head wall? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'd say it's in, it's in fair condition right now. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not twenty percent, thirty percent. It's got three big cracks. Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to say. You know, because maybe things can change so quickly. But um, it's, it's in, it's in the southern side. Southern head wall is in fair condition. Um, the northern head wall is in poor. So have you already submitted this as the DEP? Yes. How long ago? Did... Uh, that went in about a week ago today. So hopefully we'll get a file number and get a, get a response back from them. When it, you yes. can come back with the file number and any concerns they may have in the project that we have to address yes. so we can proceed forward. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, now, I know that there are a number of people that make their living off the land in the general area of that culvert. Now, and they ride their, they drive their tractors over that culvert daily. What's the time frame to put that culvert in and to do all the work and everything? Is there a time frame? No, no, not not at this time. Not at this time. Uh, we we looked at we did we've done some culvert work in town. We've gone out and looked at some some different areas that are uh, priority for replacement because they're they're failing and they're in worse condition. And uh, there's, there's a number of culverts, I would say, in town that the culvert itself, at least, is is worse. Mm -hmm. I may have it as a much worse mm -hmm. than, than the second year culvert. There's no plans to shut the road down while the construction is occurring. They have to. Yeah. They're going to have to shut it down. They're going to they're gonna have to. It's, down. it's in the uh, report here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cutting back into the road. Uh, okay. You know, it's probably going to be up to, up to the contractor. And, Inspector up there, or is it permanently shut down? Or I think they said it estimated about three weeks or so. I heard up to 30 days maximum. Okay. Okay. What they're shooting for. Okay, yeah. 
Uh, so it's possible that it's shut down in its entirety. It's possible that you know there may be windows, maybe what they can stabilize it for the weekend or something that, that people can drive over it. Um, yeah, you know, it's gonna be an inconvenience. I mean, certainly, certainly for the miners that are out there, you know, it's not convenient if you gotta drive a tractor around three miles that you know. Right, and miles. it's 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 not so much that the farmers are driving their tractors, but the farmers get customers. And how do, how do you, on the phone, describe to a customer in Vermont that, well, you can't come the way that you always did. You got to go around. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. And the way, depending on how you're coming, if you're looping around from, I guess, the eastern side, of the that's, a, that's a tight turn. It is. It is. Yes, I it is. Yeah. I, I, I agree. And that's primarily the, I got complaints because the construction company put all the blocks on there right on the water shut off of the farmer that allowed them to be so you gotta move those blocks i saw that and uh you know there's a reason that i didn't show a staging area right anywhere on the plans yeah because i knew that it was going to be sensitive and i knew that it was going to be private property right yes but you gotta move them off the shut off <laughs> um, that's that's poor planning on somebody's part. Yeah, I mean, we were, the way we planned on it is that they were just gonna, well, well, keep in mind, we weren't planning on using blocks or anything. We were planning on mm -hmm. you know, casting in place. So you, you weren't really gonna have to stay much in the way of materials. Right, right. Um, but I was surprised too when I went out there and went, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, well, again, my, my concern is this, the surface water. That's going to go off to the side on either side of the road, and it's going to go on the front and the back of the culvert, whatever. And is it going to, are we going to be dealing with this two years from now? Right. No, you know, I, that's, that's what we, I don't really want. I don't want to put the town through this again. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we're doing, I think we're doing what we can for, you know, economically what we can. I mean, we don't, we don't want to go and put, you know, you, you got to catch basins and pipes and everything. Your, your fifty thousand dollar project goes to a hundred thousand dollar project mm -hmm. uh, real quick. Oh yeah. So you know, we're trying to keep it keep it simple. Uh, you know, keep it within the town budget that it's already been fit for the project. So you know, mostly keep it to riff raff and <clears throat> things like that. Um, you know, once once we're really up and running on this project and we have our our work conditions notice proceed we're ready to go. Um, I would like to meet with you and her again. We, we met kind of in passing on the project, but I would like to meet with him again um, and really explain. You know, this is this is the intent of the project from you know an engineering standpoint, a permitting standpoint. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know we're trying to stay alive with, with riprap. You know, we're trying to really really be cognizant of of you know keeping the roadway the same width and, and not you know extending into the, the stream more than we have to. And uh, so. You know, that, that's on the list as yeah. well. And, and the culvert, the part that goes under the road, is that a box culvert or just three-sided? Uh, I'm not. And sure. that's in pretty good shape. On that. Yeah, there's a, there's a place on the northern headwall that, that's cracked and it has been peeling, peeling away. But when they cut, when they're going to have to install the blocks, they're going to cut back that headwall mm -hmm. and they'll cut out that damaged piece. Hmm. So if you're not sure about the time frame of how long it takes to complete a construction, do you have an idea of the timeline of when uh, construction would ideally start? It would like to start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, the construction duration should take about three, four weeks. I okay. think Gary said, what, for 30 days now? Yeah. Yeah. So if we're talking about 30 days probably for construction. Uh, you know, they, I mean, you saw they're, they're staged out there. They have their, their equipment ready to go uh, and, you know, but you know, part of it is you know it was in the order of conditions that went to the contract the first time around that there was kind of a year restriction three years ago. Yeah, uh, no, that that was the original. I'm talking about when Frederick just the northern one. Uh, yeah. You know, they so they they should have picked up on it that there was a time of year restriction and, and they went out. And, well, the ground is frozen. If you're going to end up with issues if you try digging or doing anything now, because in a month and a half it's going to change. That's what happens when, when, whenever the ground is frozen. Yes, the water is running there. Yes, it's going to be soft right near the running water. Then you're going to go another shovel width and it's going to be solid. It's Mother Nature doesn't 
give us a lot of leeway sometimes. And if they have to excavate to pour, you can't pour concrete on frozen ground. And there needs to be, I mean, the installation of those red blocks require that all native soil has to be removed in order to put pouring. Right. Well, they got to have a stable The good news is the way this is proceeding right now, by the time we close our hearing, we get all the comments from the DEP, we're going to be past that period of time when the ground is frozen yeah. so they can actively do the job, do it properly when the conditions are discussed. So, unless there's any further questions. 30 days good, Walt? Yeah, that's good. You I know, would think by April 1st. That's what we're shooting for. Yeah, that's what we're that's shooting, what, that's what we're shooting yeah, for. That's perfect. So what I'm going to propose, we normally meet once a month, but I'm going to look for a motion tonight to have another hearing two weeks from tonight. Jane, is this, is this venue available? Yes. So we can book it? Yes. So I'm going to propose we have another meeting. Hopefully it'll be a legal hearing. You're going to have to do the publication, legal notice. Yeah, I will, Michelle. I will do the public notice. We'll do the letter notification. We need to do the letter notification again. Probably, yeah. I, I would do you, it. You know what? Do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Just to cover your butt. Okay. And then I'll propose, I'm looking for a motion for 6.30, which would be two weeks. 20 seconds. Hmm? It's 6.30 p.m. We have a motion by Gordon. I'll second that. Second. Are there any further, apologize. Are there any further questions that you like me to have ready answered before next meeting? Really I haven't had a chance to really read through okay. this yet. We okay. didn't discuss this tonight. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there'll be some things that come up, but we'll be quick to try to give you some Great. Okay. constructive yeah. criticism if yeah. we okay. come up with that. Great. And I received the document that you've been giving Carolyn as well that outlined a number of the different comments on the original notice of that narrative. Yes. Um, and I've tried to go through and address, you know, everything for the most part, I think, but certainly if there are things, once you get into it, if there are things that you don't feel adequately addressed, you know, please let me know. We just need to close out the other notice of intent. Do it when we get the new file number for this one. There can't be two concurrently on the same sure. project. But uh, I'd like to try to move this forward as quickly as we can. Appreciate that. Thank you. And, uh, DEP permitting. <laughs> so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hey, uh, Nick, uh, I'm here if anyone has any questions for me. Uh, I have the couple answers that were, or answers ahead, the questions Kyle. that were asked. Uh, as far as as far as like the spillways for the road water, that's going to be reconstructed with riprap. So there'll be riprap on each end to take the road water back into the stream bed. I know that Ms. Martusco had a question on that. Uh, the existing uh, eight inch PVC pipe that's there that will not be disrupted. That'll be uh, the way it is, uh, the height of the wall, I would say, I believe he said maybe three inches or so higher, depending on their grade, actual grade of the, the rock, because they didn't shoot a, a real elevation on it, but it's not going to change very much. Uh, the wall will be vertical. The height of the wall does not require a tilt. It's not, it's not uh, tall enough. And the finished paving also, we're going to pave within the limits of the, the new head wall. Right now, the pavement does not go uh, to each side. When we repave, we're going to each side. So the, I guess it will be a little wider in that area for the farmers and their equipment to get through there on the asphalt. So, so in the grand scheme of things, it's going to be better when we're done. Good, excellent. You promise? <laughs> I promise. And uh, right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll double check with the water guys, Mr. Matusko. I don't believe the blocks are on the uh, his water shut off, but I'll double check on that tomorrow. And if if they are, we will move them immediately. Thank would, you. That would be what Joseph Roddick's water shut off. Yes. Anyway, anyway, I think by... Joe was on the Zoom meeting. Is that are they on your property, Joe? On the, on the water shut off? They're they're near a uh, they're near a shutoff, but it's not blocking the shutoff. Okay. Okay. So so you should be fine then, correct? I'm fine with it. So motion made, second. So 
All those in favor, Gordon? Aye. Edwin? Aye. Steve? Aye. Ray? Aye. Myself? Aye. Unanimous. So we'll continue this for two weeks from tonight. Hopefully we'll have comments from the DEP and a final number. And we'll proceed forward. Okay. Commission members, thank you for your time. Audience, excellent questions. Okay. Thank you. Uh, when, when, is, uh, when is the meeting supposed to be? The 22nd? 22nd, 630. 2, 22. I'll have to send out another agenda. 22, yeah. So, at 630. Very good. Okay. We just need to give the advertised the number of days before five business days before the hearing. So we've got plenty of time for Yep. Yeah, so five days. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'll be in tomorrow as well. Oh, okay. Let's, let's get done tomorrow. Because let's, let's lock down. I mean, I have the I have the certified water system. That's why I need extra mail. I'll be water for the state. And did you send me? Send me. Um, legal ad. I don't remember. An updated one. I think I did, but I'll double check and send it to you if not. Let me have everything I need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can touch base tomorrow. I'll be in the office around nine. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. I'll also be in here. Yes. I did have one more question for him. Okay, go ahead. Off the, off the shelter. He, uh, he had mentioned uh, Moody Bridge Road it's for the public and affords information, the select board. About how much uh, was washed down the stream you figure in the last two years off that project? Well, uh, I don't know. You know, like a truckload anyway. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 it was a fair amount. It was a fair amount. Um, you know, we really need to get on some of these projects. It's probably over 20 rotten pipes that are 40, 50, 60 years old that are old steel and galvanized. Mm -hmm. That have just, they didn't have the ABS designed at that time when they put this steel and galvanized. And now that they got the ABS, you've seen what they did on Mill Valley. They put four or five pipes in down Mill Valley, paved over, did a real nice job with the banks. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's we've got a bunch of them down the road, and, and we can't keep really closing these roads as we go along. You know, just I don't know how your board feels about. I know there was a lot of conflict with the emergencies and stuff, and there was a lot of lack of communications between our board and your board originally. It was. But, you know, we really need to get together, even if we need to have, to have a meeting together. We're not against having any of these projects prepared. We yeah. agree that they need to be done, but they need to be properly permitted to yeah. go through the process. That's all we do as a board. Mm -hmm. You just can't say go out and do what you wish. Well, we have to have plans prepared. We have to look at the well, has implications. We really don't know until there's a pop on the road and you realize, like Moody Ridge, you know, that there's a three foot hole rotted in the top of the pipe. We don't know until it shows, shows up, really. Hmm. And this is the stuff we're dealing with every day. And being 40, 50, 60 years old, you know, who knows where it's going to stop. It's not going to. This is something well, that this is this comes we'll, under the maintenance we'll, budget. We'll have to take every every project under its under advisement and look at it. Yeah, know, whether it's an emergency or not. But always feel free or to send me an email or, or phone call or anything. I'm in the office Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so we're not here to stop any repairs. No, no, no. I understand that, but we we've, we've had conflict ourselves, and you know, it's just going to run into this event. We really need to work together a little bit more. Well, this thing, yeah. this thing was put out to bid, and, and, and they didn't have authorization to do both sides. Yeah. And all the materials just showed up. There was a lot of lack of communication. And that's not our fault. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't cause that. We're okay. on the path we should be now. We're headed okay. in the right direction. So. Anything else for time? Gary? Gary, just a quick comment. Please. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, I, I know there's a process you guys have to follow. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but when we uh, are getting close to the finish line, if you have a tentative date for a, a start time period, um, if you could relay that to Scott as soon as possible, because we're getting to the point where the uh, 
current contractor may not be interested in the work anymore because this was supposed to be fill-in work as a smaller job during their slow season. And getting into the spring, you know, they're there's multi-million dollar jobs they can jump on. So we just want to kind of get them on the schedule and give them an idea of when they could possibly start. So we're not left in a position where there is no contractor available to do the work once it's approved. Good. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay, go on to the next one. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Next sign for Dawson Reserve off Rocky Hill Road, the sign on product based on quote from the Emerson Copy Design Works. Edwin and Shadow visit the site January 26th to evaluate need for size and positioning. Remaining action is to agree on a size, monetary allowance, and which account to charge for this purchase, as well as purchasing procedure, i.e., authorization when, by whom, and whatever. So we have an update, John. So this is um, the signs that we have. To go up, um, we just they sent this over to Amos Copy Design Works. They said for size that is 18 inches by 24 inches on aluminum composite material, it would be $59. If we had it 18 by 24, but with uh, mounting holes in, uh, already there for us and everything, and heavy duty aluminum, it would be 109. So we're looking at $60 or $109 based on their quote. I can always ask for different quotes or different sides or materials. No, would, I think it just, would you get it up? Would you want to go with aluminum? Yeah. Go with a better material? Sure. Huh? Whatever is going to last longer. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think you said that when you could assist them. I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. And now, did they recommend one post or two? That's the only thing. If Because I'll just start getting stuff now. And I'll try to do it really nice. I promise. They said that the six millimeter composite material is sturdy enough to be mounted between two posts or on one post. Um, and then the same thing for all aluminum. Um, but it would be better for a single post, I think they, they said. Well, one post is only 18 by 24, but you make the call, Edwin. Okay. So I'm going to look for a motion to approve. Uh, uh, where do we want to put it? We went down and looked at it on yeah. crossed over the bridge, and we were thinking, you know, on your way into Amherst, on the right side of the road, there's an area. There's a the there's a curb cut there. Mm -hmm. That's where Alley's park. <laughs> yeah. So that's is is that where we should put it? Well, we can't put it in I the know. wetland, and then right, we, I mean, we in put the, it in the, the park side. that's you okay. know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll make a, I'm gonna look for a motion to uh, fund this purchase for $109. I'll make it. Gord, uh, made a motion. Second, boy. Second, second. Okay. <laughs> Steve, any further discussion? Quick. Yeah. I was thinking office supply budget or I don't, <laughs> we have we have check with the accounting there. department. Whatever they whatever they want to pull it from. It's not a big expense. Yeah. Where we have the funds to cover. Yeah, we we have a lot right now. We have. A good amount that hasn't been allocated. They, they can figure out what account would work the best. Yeah. I'm not going to get into the details. So, all those in favor, Gordon? Aye. 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 Myself. Unanimous. Okay. We're supposed to, that's been on the agenda for quite a while. Let's get that done this spring. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Rules and correspondence. Uh, Shyla, conservation staff, speech authorization to sign invoices for office related purchases. I ink, paper, et cetera, have the chair sign rather than putting it to vote, waiting until each meeting. So, so I think the best way to handle this would be if the board agrees we could set up some type of dollar limit mm. and Charlotte could run it by me. I could give approval for her to, would I have to come back to the meeting every time? Right. Yeah. Do we want to set a limit on $500? Well, you know, $500? I don't know. We have an office supply budget line that is about uh, $500, I think, as like the limit. Yeah. I can't ever see if we're going to buy something for $500. Right. The only things I've purchased so far are printer ink, and I only bought it twice because we bought the wrong one the first time. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. It was, was it returnable? It was, it was just we bought the colored one when we needed the black ink. So, so okay. now I have extra colored ink for when I oh, so it's not it again. Okay. Yeah. So uh, um, I would look for a motion for the dollar amount that uh, I would be authorized to. $100. That sounds good to me. Okay. okay. I'll make it. Lord makes a motion for hundred dollar limit. Line item. Limit. I'll, I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. 
All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Everyone says the unanimous. Okay. Okay. So uh, there's a new line item. There is a new line in the budget titled "Trainings Meetings," which will be used to fund the attendance of the webinars and events relevant to the commission board members and staff to deepen our knowledge, skills, and encouraging networking. Is this what you were referring to earlier, Charlotte? That's next week about the APR. Uh, no, that's free. That's being put together by MDAR. But this is for things um, like remember when I first started out, I went to that conference digitally, mm -hmm. and I had to sign the invoice for that. Things yeah. like that opportunity to go and do trainings, but that would be available to any of you all. That if you ever an event or a training or a class, I think what would be a good idea is as you see these things coming up, you bring them up at our yeah. meetings. So we can gauge who has interest to attend these mm -hmm. for educational purposes. Yeah. I was thinking of adding a line to the agenda, which I did on this one, of upcoming learning opportunities, so free events, or things that I'm going to be attending. So okay. yes, I can make that more of a regular uh, sure. occurrence because yes. I, I get a lot in my inbox about okay. events going on from Massachusetts. Um, yeah, I'd rather uh, and, and, uh, NCCC, yeah, MACC, yeah. NSMC, MC, all the acronyms yeah. you could think of. <laughs> okay, so. So I get uh, emails. We'll talk about next week's meetings. I'll, I can attend that on Wednesday. Okay. For the APR, just give me a notice on Tuesday. Give me a reminder to call. Okay. For Wednesday. This will your 2023 budget request to the department has been submitted and reviewed by the town administrator. For any questions regarding the current account balance or the proposed budget, please let Charlotte know. Uh, I do have copies of the budget requests and Carolyn's recommendations if y'all want to look at them. Sure. Can I? Uh, yeah. yeah. And if you have any questions now or later, let me know. So and the green is the uh, uh, the green doesn't signify anything. Oh no, those are the voted versus actual. So that's how much we were approved for the fiscal year we're in, and then how much we've spent okay. in each category. And this goes to what July first? Uh it goes to yeah, June June 30th, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so we're yeah. well within budget. So yeah. the, yep, we're, we're definitely <laughs> within. Dues, the reason for being over in dues was a misunderstanding on my part when I first had that invoice for the conference. I charged it to the wrong account. So that was just a rookie mistake. <laughs> but they can move it around. Okay. That's yep. good. Yeah. yeah. Our yep. bottom line, we have, I think, like $18,000 that has been allocated. Some of that's designated to having me be paid, but a lot of it's also for um, other categories. Okay. okay. So, uh, January 11th means minutes. Uh, we have a motion to accept the minutes. Uh, yeah, the yes on my name, Because oh. I don't have an S in my head when. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! Minor. I, I know. I will fix that. Okay, so we have a motion to accept 11 minutes. Oh, okay. Second? I'll second it. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 We don't have to roll call on there. Yeah. Unanimous. Okay, uh, other topics, upcoming learning opportunities, math, open space, virtual conference every Thursday in February. Webinars are an hour and a half with networks afterwards. Topics include ecology, finances, climate change, and social context within community, free to attend. That's all information. Anybody mm -hmm. interested, please start. And I did want to say if any of you have um, a hard time setting up Zoom or anything at your place, if you want to come to the office and join with me, so I'm uh, happy to have you. You might be sorry you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also have the conference room as long as there's not a forum present, then we're chair. <laughs> right. MSCMB webinar nitrogen reduction septic systems and wastewater on February 16th. This sounds like a great alley. Sorry? Right. Oh, great. Yeah, I thought you might be interested. It's um, yeah. nitrogen and septic systems. I'll jump on that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. It's um, I'm looking forward to that one. And then two two things that did come up, or actually on the topic of the budgets and invoices and everything and learning, there is another virtual conference like the one that happened in the fall that I was hoping to attend and didn't know what the process was for having the invoice signed and approved. Should I? Bring like the amount and then have you vote to approve it. Yes, probably. Okay, so it, it would it. be it would be three hundred fifty dollars to do like seven or eight different webinars. Do so, we want to approve that now? Sure. Okay. I know it wasn't on the agenda because no, we, we can we can bring that up. Uh, we have a motion to approve three hundred fifty dollars for the webinars. It's a, it's a move. 
Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Yeah. Uh, Warden. Edwin. Yeah. Ray Steve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get that out of the way. I think it's good for Charlie to get that that education for us. Yep. I uh, I think Charlie's doing a fantastic job so okay. far in a short period of time. Yep. We it's some, good considering we threw her in the deep end of the pool. We somewhat have recovered. Yes, somewhat. Caught up on the emails. Yeah. Of my church. Um, office looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I got a new plant today. If you did, yeah, if you could see the office, you wouldn't. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I got to give a lot of credit. Yep. Well, well I she, couldn't do it without you guys. But. She deserves an awful lot of credit for being thrown in the deep end. I'm well, sure that we're very thankful to have your. Oh, yes. Okay. That being said, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. I move we adjourn. Edward second. second. Gordon. Aye. I don't have any further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. See you all in two weeks. Okay. Aye. Here.